Okay, the midpoint, what it is and how to find it. When we talk about a midpoint, we're talking about the point in the middle. Here we got a segment on a graph. It's got a beginning, it's got an end, and the midpoint is the point in the middle. We usually give the answer for where's the midpoint by giving its coordinates, 1, 3 in this case. Uh, if we talked about our analogy using blocks instead of a graph, we want to find the distance from one of these locations to the other. We would turn it into a right triangle problem. And we'd count how many units up and down, how many units across, and we'd do the Pythagorean theorem for the distance. But for the midpoint, we just want to know where it is. We don't have to do the distance formula. We're just going to go half of those distances. So instead of going down six blocks, we go down three blocks. Instead of going across eight blocks, we go across four blocks. And that puts us right here at the halfway point between the two locations. When we talk about midpoint in this class, it's usually going to be on a graph. So we're going to switch this to coordinates. And we don't even need the graph to do it. We have a formula that we can use to help us calculate midpoint. It's an ugly looking formula, uh, but it's not that hard to use at all. So here is the question we were going to use for our example here. We want to find the midpoint between these two points. We have our formula. You might think, hey, I don't know what all that X1 and Y1 stuff is. No big deal. Those numbers are just a shortcut for saying it's from the first point or second point. See, X1 is X from the first point. Y1 is Y from the first point. X2 is X from the second point. Y2 is Y from the second point. And all we got to do is plug them into their respective locations. So we're, for x1, we're going to put negative 1. For x2, we're going to put 7. For y1, we're going to put negative 2. And for y2, we're going to put 4. So all we got to do is start taking those numbers and putting them in the right spots. x1 becomes negative 1. x2 becomes 7. y1 becomes negative 2. And y2 becomes 4. Once we have that, then we have some simple arithmetic to do. Negative 1 plus 7 is 6. Divided by 2 is 3. Negative 2 plus 4 is 2, divided by 2 is 1. So the coordinates of the midpoint are 3, 1. That's how we use that formula. Now, you don't always have to use the formula. Sometimes if the numbers are nice, you can do this in a very easy way without having to do so much arithmetic. Here's a different problem. If we want to talk about the midpoint between these two points and we don't want to use the formula, all we got to do is focus on the halfways. What I mean by that is if you look at the x-coordinates, 6 and 8, what's halfway between 6 and 8? You should be able to pretty much figure that out, that that's going to be 7. When we talk about the 10 and 2 for our y coordinate, right, you may not be able to immediately tell the difference between, or the middle between 10 and 2, but it's easy. Simply add them up, 10 plus 2 is 12, and divide by 2. That's going to give us 6. That's our midpoint. 